Hello, citizens of YouTube. This is the Geeky Nerd here. And today I'm going to be talking about the Benchmade Mini Griptilian, one of, if not my ultimate favorite knife of all time, and some, a knife that absolutely everyone should have. Mine just so happens to be in yellow, which hopefully someday will uh, be the same, be able to match my Austin Yellow M4. <laughs> if the uh, you know dreams come true, am I right? <laughs> but back to the knife, the Benchmade Mini Griptilian. I just say it's not a huge knife, hence the name Mini Griptilian. So about the width of a medium sized hand, and uh, nothing nothing too crazy. But what this knife does and it does well is its simplicity mechanics and just general elegance of being a perfect everyday carry knife. I can't think of a single knife that I have carried more in and out every day than this one. Yes, some do other functions better, but the best bar stock can take it and go anywhere knife is this one, at least in my humble opinion. So uh, mini griptilian here, you see it has um, these polymer scales, which is uh, you know, both sides, which is nice. I have had this knife for shoot, going on three years now, and I picked it up from Northwest Knives in um, uh, Meridian, Idaho. So fantastic little shop. Check them out, guys, on the internet. Uh, they have a web shop there, and they have a physical presence store in uh, Meridian, Idaho, and just all around great people. But uh, back to the knife here. Best knife I've ever carried. It does so many things right. Well, it has this plastic, but it also has metal liners that go all the way through the plastic. So you get a metal strength, rigidity, but then you also get, uh, you know, plastic durability and uh, general wear of resistance. Now, again, carrying this every single day for the past three years. Uh, let's see if I can do a macro shot here. You can see there, very minimal. I mean, like, I barely even cleaned this thing up. You can see there, it does have the pot clip that... Um, when you get this, it has like an anodized aluminum feel, so it is a bit, you know, um, not smooth and satin, but after using it, it smooths out like a gem. Uh, you might be able to see there. I don't think it's picking up on camera. So it does have a very slight little specks of like right in here from, yeah, you can see it just a bit of it, uh, from putting it in blue jeans. So the color has worn into the knife just a bit, but not worn off of the knife, which is, uh, which is always a nice thing. Uh, opening up the knife is very easy obviously worn in it is a one-handed opener so you just give it a good little flick there you go if you want you can pull down on the um, little compression lock here just flick out um, I don't personally use that too much as you can see by my lack of skill being able to do it um, but I do uh, open it just via the thumb flick flick and then I pull these tabs down and then just give it a good fling in there so it does take a bit getting used to but once you do it's like second nature so once the knife is out, you can see here that it is a Mel Pardu design and it has S30V steel. Now, what does that mean, S30V steel? Out of all the steels that I've used in my knife collection, S30V seems to be the best. It is a, uh, I believe it's a Scandinavian or Swedish, one of those two, one of those, uh, you know, Viking-esque people <laughs> um, steels. And it has a fantastic uh, compromise between uh, hardness and uh, blade retention. And for those that don't know, the more carbon you have in steel, the more sharper or the sharper it can get. However, it becomes more brittle and if the less carbon you have, the more flexible and uh, less prone to chipping that the steel is. However, it loses its edge fairly quickly. But with this S30V, I pretty much have to sharpen this maybe once a quarter, you know, once every couple months, uh, just with standard use. And again, I'm using this every day to open boxes, open packaging, um, you know, even slight food prep after <laughs> washing it off thoroughly. Uh, and it just holds that edge like nobody's business. So has just been a fantastic all-around steel knife. Now, Benchmade, they were using a different steel for a while, but then they decided to switch all of their lines to S30V, which is um, which is very nice. The shape of this blade is perfect. It is a um, uh, you know just just a standard grind, nothing kind of crazy. I wouldn't call it like a bow or anything like that. Just a standard um, full grind. And it just comes down from the spine. Spine is uh, fairly thick. I don't know what is going on with the autofocus today. There you go. Um, and yeah, it uh, uh, does come to a pretty fine tip, but nothing too crazy. I have pride with this. It, it hasn't chipped. I've been worried because I'm like, oh, I don't want to mess this up. Uh, but it, it, it has never failed me ever. Uh, one thing, if you don't know about Benchmades, which I'm not sure if it'll focus here, 
it has the bench made, but it also has the model number, which this so happens to be five five six. Hey, seven or uh, five five six two two three. Come on, AR guys, stand up. <laughs> so just a just a perfect match there. But that is actually the model number of this uh, mini griptilian here. Now, once it's in the hand, it fits like a dream. Your hand fits in a little twirl there, and it has plenty of like little jimping, little ridges there, and it just fits in your hand like a glove and could do anything you need to without worry about it failing. Speaking of failing, as we all know, the uh, the locking point of a knife is uh, is where it all goes wrong. Of course, that's why some people like fixed blades. However, this lock is the best that I've seen and just 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 general use. Now, Spyderco does make their, uh, I believe it's called a compression lock. Um, this is an access lock. I might have said compression lock at the beginning, but sorry. Sorry, Spyderco. I'd like you guys to just wrong name and nomenclature. <laughs> uh, but it does have this, um, this access lock here, which basically what it does is it rides... Uh, so it's this little piece of uh, you know, steel here, and it basically falls against the bat back flat edge of the spine of the knife, and it's actually at an angle of the knife. So as this continues to wear, you can see it. It's not full. It doesn't look like it's full engaged, but I can tell you it's rock solid. What's good is, for longevity's sake, as this knife starts to wear and as it starts to creep up, it still has plenty of travel to go before it's ever going to uh, start weakening. Because with knives, once it hits the edge of its travel that the spring or the uh, the blade lock can go to, then essentially you start getting blade wobble and got to worry about snapping, you know, or, or, or sorry, slipping and things like that. But um, but overall, just wanted to give like a quick little review on this knife. Again. The single best knife I've ever bought. Uh, this one ran me, I think it was $93, like 90, just say 90 bucks. So definitely not a whole lot. And for the knife you're getting for what the value is, it's better than jumping from those cheap ones to cheap ones to cheap ones. And um, they come in all shapes and sizes. It's like a Toyota Corolla of the knife world. You can, uh, you can get it in, you know, red, blue, green, yellow, orange, purple, pink, black, white, camo, digital camo, um, you know, uh, uh, carbon fiber, all that fun stuff, blade finishes, tontos, hooks, flat grinds, just anything and everything. But, uh, I guess that's why they're so popular because there's a knife to fit everybody and you're getting a good high quality made in USA knife that will not fail you. And, um, uh, just had to give a shout out to them and just, uh, just wanted to show it off my, um, my little yellow Tweety bird here that I'm absolutely in love with. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have a mini grip telling, if you like yours, or if you uh, had a bad experience, I hope you didn't. I'm pretty sure most people have them, but in case you did, let me know. And with that, I hope everyone's having a wonderful, awesome, fantastic day. I'll catch you guys next time.